Yin Wong, never missed a payment. P and C, stole her house anyway. <laughs> Yin Wong, never missed a payment. P and C, stole her house anyway. Where's Miss Wong? She's inside. She's inside. You want to get out? Are you going to get the No. No, sorry. Go ahead, Yin. Go upstairs. Her first communication with PNC was a foreclosure notice. They had messed up. They sent her checks back, even though they were the right amount, and then gave her a foreclosure notice and asked her to leave her house. She's been fighting this for the last three years, and now PNC wants to evict her next week. Excuse me. Hi there. Hey. There. Three times, every time I said I want to pay, pay the mortgage off, but they didn't allow me pay. And I become disabled. I cannot work now. Because of stress? Yeah, because they give me so much stress. Five times evict me. They lost five, four times. The last time, they just don't say anything. You must go. Hey, uh, Rover, can you come to the lobby ASAP? A year ago, before Occupy, where we were, the position we were in our office was to say to her, you're going to have to move. The, it doesn't matter that the documents aren't right. It doesn't matter because the courts are not on our side. And the judges aren't on our side. They say if the foreclosure has happened, even if it was false, it's an uphill battle to try to prove it was false. And by the time that happens, you're going to be evicted. So you're going to have to move. Do you mind stepping outside, please? This is yeah, Yin Wong. She's facing you're, you're the You're the one that needs to deliver the letter, correct? Yeah. Okay. You can stay. The rest of you have to go outside. Oh, you can't send I mean, someone up no, just by yourself. No, because my English is no good. We, let me see if they'll let one person go. Okay. okay. Let me see if and if do not, that. if they can let's, come let's, down. Let's reach a happy medium. They don't have to accept it, okay? Okay, they, like I'm saying, they don't have to accept it, but we'll let them know what, what, what you, what you want to do, okay? And then slowly, as more and more people have taken the kind of position that she has taken, here we are now, and she's convinced me that we can fight this. That we that the only way to deal with this is to fight this. We can't just take it lying down. We can't just let her lose her house. It's just beyond belief. Quick announcement. Yeah. Mic check. Okay. Mic check. <laughs> so P and C, um, some of their reps. So a couple things is that. Um, the office manager actually was great. He went up there and talked to them for a very long time about like what we actually wanted, which was to fax the letter and some acknowledgement that they're reaching their headquarters. The reason why it took so long is apparently there have been many phone calls into the Pennsylvania office for PNC because people have been calling them for the last like few hours, so <laughs> they were having a hard time getting a hold of them. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, I got a hold of them. <laughs> <laughs> The big thing for Yin is that she does have a pending eviction next week. Um, and she's gonna file for a stay, to stay there for like multiple weeks. Because at any moment, and we know this with dual tracking and what the banks are doing, we do have to prepare and figure out like how we're doing this. And many of you were there for Monica when we did this and that was like three hours at six in the morning, you know, with no coffee, which was really hard for a lot of us. Um, <laughs> but the eviction was stopped. So we might have to do something like that again. You know, in this case, the woman was completely 100% in the right and the bank was 100% at fault. What about in a case um, where a person feels embarrassed because, you know, maybe they screwed up a little bit? What would you advise me to do? Don't feel ashamed. Don't feel ashamed to step up and, and make yourself accountable. Make yourself accountable. I did what I needed to do. But yeah, I screwed up once, but that doesn't make the, the outcome be that I lose my own, especially when I still can make the payments, you know? So you were wrong, admit you were wrong, and let us step in and, and, and do what we need to do. Do the right thing.